Hi guys, I'm Theo Goni, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a Hitman Blood Money speedrun with cheats, and I'm also going to show you how to activate and enable the cheats and free camp for yourself. But first off, I'm doing this video because I have done a Hitman Blood Money speedrun with cheats in the past. It's compared to my Hitman Codename 47 and my Hitman 2 Silent Assassin speedruns with cheats, which I managed to do in under half an hour. I thought the execution with Blood Money was quite shoddy, so we're going to try and improve on that today. Now first up, you're going to want to find your Hitman Blood Money files. Now if you're on Steam, you're going to right click, you're going to go onto properties, you're going to go onto files, and you're going to go open file location. If you're on not Steam and you're struggling, what you can do is you can search for your Hitman launch application. You can right click on it, go to file location, and you'll be sent here some more shortcuts. Right click again and go file location, and this will take you to the correct files. Now the important file is the Hitman Blood Money INI file. Now you can check this is the right file by right clicking on it and going to properties and checking that it is under the file type INI. Now with the enabler I'm going to show you, you won't actually need to edit this. So you won't need to add the line enable cheats like you did in the versions 1.1. It will actually do the whole thing automatically. But I'm going to show you anyway because there's other enablers that will require it and there's also FreeCam does require editing this file. Now, a lot of people have issues um, editing and saving the files. They don't have permission. So I'm going to show you now how to overcome that because I actually had this same issue. So you're going to go onto properties. And once you've checked the CRNI file, you're going to go to security. And you want to go down to user. Now, you, what you're going to want to make sure is this is ticked, full control. Now, normally it won't. So you're going to go to edit. And you're going to go down to user. And you're going to make sure this is ticked, full control. And you can do it on these two just to be safe. Click apply. Click OK. And then you can return to the file. And now you can edit and save it without any issues. So now I can add enable cheats, which some versions will require. And I can save it without any issue. Now, see, I can close. And there we go. But the version I'm going to show you, you do not need this. So if you're struggling to edit this file, don't worry. You don't need to edit it at all. So the editor we're going to use is on Nexus mods. Now, first off, I want to make a point. You shouldn't use Copy World if you've done any research or Googling or watching the other videos. It's a lot of uh, reference to Copy World. It contains a lot of malware. In fact, all the other enablers except for Nexus mods I could find contained malware. Now, the reason Nexus mod one is so good is because it was made by Zoid. Now, if you've been on the Hitman forums in the past and you've looked up cheats or enablers, you'll see he's mentioned quite a lot. And that's because he originally made this back when the game was initially released. And um, unfortunately, the Hitman form has taken down almost all of the free cam and cheat information now. So thankfully, it's uploaded here to Nexus Mods. So what you're going to need to do is make an account. It's very easy. Email, no more. And then you're going to click download. It's all free. Give it a few seconds and it's going to take you to here. You're going to click slow download. Give it a few seconds. It's a tiny file, so it will download almost instantaneously. And you're going to go here. Now, this is where a few other people have issues. So if you go to your downloads, You'll see it's here, and you'll see that it's already got it in the 7-zip mode, but this is only because I've done this previously. Normally, this will be a white file. You're unable to open it. If you open it with Notepad, it will simply be a jumbled number of letters. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get an extractor. This is called 7-zip. It's free to download. It's safe. I'd suggest it. And you're going to right-click on the white file, and you're going to go to Open With. You're going to go here, and it probably won't be listed 7-zip or any other extraction unless you've used it recently. But you're going to want to go to look for it on the PC, go into your programs, and then select it. Once you've opened it, you can open it with your extractor, and it will look like this. And you'll realize now this is a program you could run. So you're going to extract it, extract the downloads or any way you want. It doesn't particularly matter. And now you'll see it's a program you can run by just clicking on it. Once you click on it, you'll get this file. Now, if you're on Steam, you press 1 and press Enter. If you're on the original, you press 2 and press Enter. This will only work when the game is running. So if I try it now, it will simply close. You open up the game. You minimize it by pressing Control and Escape or any other way to minimize the game. Open this up, press 2 and press Enter. And I'll show you this in a second. OK, finally, I'm going to show you how to activate the cheats once the game is open. As you can see, I'm running Hitman Blood Money. We go over to the cheat enabler. We click on it. If you're on Steam, go for 1. If you're on original, so non-Steam, go 2. I'm on that, so I press 2. It'll come up here and you'll see cheats are enabled. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to activate FreeCam. Now this is going to require you to edit the Hitman Blood Money INI file. So if you haven't given yourself permission to configure this file already, make sure you do. You're also going to need permission to add a file and edit the Hitman Blood Money files generally. So if you don't have permission to add files, you can add it by just going back and adding permission to the whole file. Now, 
you're going to want to follow the next three following steps that will also be in the description of this video. Step one is made a text document and we're going to call it HM3 GPAD. Don't worry about the CFG for now. So I'm going to copy that. We're going to go back. I'm going to go file new and text document and we're going to name it HM3 GPAD. Now we're going to open it up and that's still a text document at the time. And we're going to go back to our options and we're going to copy and paste these four lines of code as they are in this, in this uh, format. So we're going to copy that. I'm going to go back. And we're going to paste. Now we're going to go and we're going to save as. Now you're going to go down, you're going to save as type, you're going to change it from text document to all files, and you're going to add to the end of hm3gpad.cfg, just like it's shown over here, .cfg. So once you've done that, you're going to click save, and it's going to say I'm going to replace it because I already have made a file, so I'm going to click yes. We're going to close this, and we're going to minimize this, and now we can see we have a different kind of file, a CFG file. You can check its CFG by going on to properties and checking file type .cfg. You can click on that and we have our line of code inside. Now the next step is to open up your Hitman Blood Money INI file and you're going to want to add the line of code configure file equals hm3 gpad.cfg and you can see that is the final step is just copying and pasting that. So once you've added it in like I've done here we're going to click save and we're going to minimize this. Now, if you go back to here, you can see I have set the key to activate it as K. You can set this key to be anything you want, O, P, a number, anything you want. And uh, that will be the button that activates FreeCam. So let's go into the game and let me show you how it works. Hi guys. Now inside the game, I'm going to quickly show you how the cheats in FreeCam work. So as shown, the hotkey for cheats set by the emulator is C. So I'm going to press C and you'll see in the top left hand corner there is a set of cheats. I'm going to go through these. You've got Givo, which gives you all of the weapons and items within that mission. Now this will crash you on certain missions but on other missions it won't and you'll be able to see all these unrendered, unused items, like some really cool stuff. Give some gives you a selection of weapons so you get a nice selection of firepower, normally a weapon of each. You have infinite ammo so you'll always have ammo, you'll never need to reload. Infinite clip, you'll also have infinite number of clips but you'll still go through the reloading animation but you'll never run out of ammo. You've got complete mission, which is what it seems. It will instantly complete the mission. And you've got god mode, so you'll never take any damage. You can fall, get shot endlessly, all of that kind of stuff. Then you've got invisible mode. No AI will be able to see you and it will react to you in a very limited way. And then we've got show enemy vision. Doesn't work at all, doesn't do anything. Show OSD. Now this is your hub, like this. So if you want to play in, I don't know, like um, Hitman Evolution, it's something similar to this, where you get rid of the hub and it's at a, a purest mode. So you can do that. Then we've got time multiplier, so this can go as low as 0.2 slowing down time and up to about 5. And you know, it's fine, it's, they're set to these uh, 0.2 going up, which is a lot better, you know, it stops people getting stuck and having to restart the game. You've got teleport, which will teleport you to set locations within the mission. Um, this can be, they're normally useful to aid you about the mission, useful stuff. You've got beam here, which will teleport you to anywhere where your reticules are aimed, or telescope, or binoculars, or any of that kind of stuff, anywhere you're looking through down sights. And finally, you've got test clothes. Now this will give you a set number of disguises within the mission. Not all the disguises that are available, but set ones which are useful. So I'll show you here. We're changing from um, the lab guy, the scientist and uh, back to 47. So you can normally cycle through. Sometimes there's a few, sometimes there's quite a lot of disguises and you can just cycle through them like this. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to use FreeCam. So for me I set my FreeCam hotkey as K. So I'm going to press that now and now you'll see that we're no longer tethered to 47. I can move freely with my mouse. Using the forward and backwards keys along with the scrolling wheel on your mouse you can speed up and slow down how fast you move. This affects all of the motions. Those are the up and down keys. The left and right keys will rotate you as such. Additionally, you can press such keys as control and now pressing the up and down keys will put you on a uh, rail. Again, you can go left and right and additionally, your camera will be moved on a rail. Then if you press the shift key and press up and down, you'll rotate as such. And additionally, left and right will now rotate you clockwise and anti-clockwise. And uh, yeah, those are the keys you can use for free cam. And at any point, you can press your same key again and you'll return to 47, no issue, and again you can press it and free cam once again. Okay, now I've shown you this basic intro on the cheats and free cam. Feel free to use them yourself and have fun using the game. And I'm going to move on to my speedrun of Hitman Blood Money using both of these. 
Hi hey guys, okay, welcome to my Hitman Blood Money speedrun using cheats. Let's get straight into it. I've made a new uh, profile, so we're going to skip past all of this. We're going to do this as rapidly as possible, so skip, skip. First thing we're going to do is we're going to throw on Givald to give us a weapon this mission. We're going to turn on Infinite Ammo, Infinite Clip, God Mode, and Invisibility, just because those are going to stay on throughout the missions. And then we're going to jump onto Beam here. Then we're going to use Free Cam, and we're going to zip over, and we're going to teleport straight into his office. So we're going to go here, through here, slow it down a little bit. Okay, we're going to teleport ourselves into the room. Go on to here, give me the first weapon. This knife will do nicely. Right there in the head. Okay, we're going to jump back onto free cam. And we're going to head to the exit. So here we go. About there we'll do. Sweet. And we're out of here. So that one's fairly quick. We don't get the official time, but that's okay and we're going to save. So this is probably going to be the, the slowest part, <laughs> the saving and continuing. So we're going to move on to our first, pro oh no, we've got the hideout first, of course. Let's blast through this. Of course, counts as a mission. And now we're going to get on to a vintage year. So the first thing we're going to do to slow us down is we're going to grab our pistol and we're going to upgrade it. We don't need to upgrade it, but I just want to throw on a silencer just for aesthetics and it doesn't slow us down too much. And we jump straight into the mission. Okay, we're going to skip this and immediately grab our coin. Luckily, we're invisible, so no one's going to freak out as we want through here. And we're going to see our first target over here. Now, you could shoot them, but I'm going to try and mix a few of these kills up. And what he does is he's going to walk over to the side here. And we're going to push him over the edge. And the second that's done, we're going to head up using our free cam. And we're going to do the exact same to his dad, who's just here. So we're going to jump here. And we're going to teleport here. And we're going to run forward, push him over the edge. And now teleport over to the exit, which is right here. So teleport there, and away we go. Beautiful. First mission done, 36 seconds. Very nice. Okay, we're going to blast through this. Save and continue. So we're having a pretty good start so far. Okay, next up we have curtains down. So we're going to go in, grab our trusty pistol, and get straight into the mission. Lovely. So we're going to grab out our pistol, jump onto cheats, jump onto cheats, go down to beam here, close that, go onto free cam, and we're going to head over. And we're going to teleport just onto this guardrail here, turn around, shoot him in the head. We're going to aim at the stage, hit beam here. Oh, have I got that right? A little bit over. Beam here, there we go. And we're going to sprint straight in and take out our next target. Here he is. Lovely. Then we're going to jump up and teleport right to the exit like so. This lady's going to open the door for us. Very kind of her. And we're escaping. Could have even shaved off a couple more seconds there. Very nice. We did that 24 seconds. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to move on to one of our slightly longer missions being Flatline. This being because it has some unskippable cutscenes, but what can we do? So we're going to skip past all of this. Skip, skip, skip. It's good to have you go back. in, grab our pistol, just for the brevity's sake. And first thing we're going to do is not this. We'll put that away. We're going to go over and we're going to go on to teleport. And we're going to teleport down to Agent Smith. We're going to second. We can talk to. There we go. You. Now, this is going to give me a moment to breathe because this is an unskippable cutscene. This mission takes us a little bit longer because it's after this cutscene, it takes him a set amount of time to be taken to the mortuary. You can speed this cutscene up using um, uh, the game enhancers, speeding up the, the, the game modulators, but it makes it a little bit jammy and like the higher you go, the harder it's to turn off. I found out 3 is the easiest to go on after that point. It's really hard just spamming the C key to actually turn it off. So the second this is over, we're going to give him his shot. Come on, there we go. We've got another shortcut soon. But like I said, you can use um, time modulators, but there's no point. It doesn't really save any time. So what I'll do is I'll keep you guys entertained. So as soon as this is done, we'll kill all three of the targets. So our main target plus the two optional. And then we'll teleport to the exit, and I'll do some free cam stuff just to entertain you. It's one of a mission which is going to slow us down as we've got to wait for targets to arrive, but we'll get to that. And uh, yeah, it should be the second longest mission out of all of them. So come on, Diana, wrap up. Yeah, love it. Love unskippable uh, cutscenes. Understood. My favourite. All right, here we go. Lovely. So we're immediately going to grab our pistol, go onto our cheats, go down to teleport, 
and we're going to teleport to the first one. This can take us upstairs to the main area. And actually puts us very nicely located to take out all three targets pretty much immediately. So our first target is just around the corner here. Boom, he's gone. We've got our second target just over here. He's gone. And we've got our final target just through here. Which I find very nice of them. Lovely. So now we're going to teleport just out here to the main entrance. If you want to cheat, so I'm going to go down to free cam, turn this off, and we're going to teleport into the mortuary, just like so. Lovely. And now we're going to place ourselves just here so we're next to the bed when um, Agent Smith arrives. So now we've got a little bit of time to kill. I'll show you some of the free cam stuff. We can jump into the tunnel. If you check out my other video, I show how you can actually go and run down to this tunnel without using cheats, so uh, check that out. But <laughs> here we are, and here's Agent Smith, and um, you know, here's our rat friend here, doing his stuff. Let's see, hopefully we can have some fun and get some fun shots with this. Let me see. Yeah, let's line it up once we get on the straight here. So I'm gonna straighten it up, and no, nope. there we go. Angle this up, slow this down. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and he's going to float up so through the floor here, nice and gracefully. Float through here. And they're going to teleport round and slide in. So at this point, we're going to jump back to 47 just because the second he appears. We want to be able to give him a shot, like so. And as soon as that's done, we can run to the exit and hopefully complete this mission in about 3 minutes 30. Let's see. Very nice. Yep, just about 3 minutes 30. That's what we want. And we're going to push immediately on to our next mission, A New Life, which is going to give us... But the next few missions are going to be very quick, pretty much, until we get slowed down in Las Vegas. But you will see. So we're immediately going to jump in, grab our pistol once again, and jump straight into the mission. So first thing, jump out our pistol, and we're going to go down to teleport, and we're going to teleport right here, and we're going to run over and grab our necklace, and immediately run around and take out our second target, who should be coming through this door. There he is, right on target, through the head, and now we're just going to teleport right to the exit here, right here we'll do, oh that's a teleport, there we go, beam here, and escape, very nice, okay, not bad at all, and continue on, now we've got a murder of crows, okay let's get straight to it, skip, once again we're going to grab our ever useful silver baller, and enter the mission. Now this very first dude you're going to see, we have the option, you can just shoot him in the head, but seeming it takes just as much time to knock him out with just a tap in the side of the head. I don't see the issue. But next we're going to jump down to teleports and we're going to teleport right to here. Now we can do a few creative kills to take out our targets, but I'm thinking if we're going to shoot most of them, we might as well do a nice little bomb drop here. So we're going to drop here, drop our bomb, kaboom, she's gone. We're going to grab our pistol and we're going to go down and we're going to teleport pretty much into our next few targets. Kaboom, in the head. And then once again, in the head. And then after that, we're going to teleport just down here and it's right next to the exit. And that is 47 wiping out the whole team. And we did that nice, about 30 seconds. So let's continue. Lovely. I'm gonna save our next mission. Better watch out, Rocky Mountains. Lovely. Okay. As ever, we're gonna grab our ballers and get straight into it. Second, we appear. We're gonna go down, going to teleport, and we're gonna teleport right here to Haviland, just T-posing. Now we're not gonna move because if that damn dog will start barking, even though we're invisible. And then we're gonna walk up, and we're gonna push him over the edge, just like so. And now we're going to go over and grab the evidence 
in the form of the tape. Just from the security room here, you can free cam it, but it's just about as quick. Second that's done, we're going to pop down to here and take out our final target and also get to our exit point pretty damn quickly in what I like to call the express elevator kill. And there we go, nice on target, we're going to beam here and escape almost instantaneously. That's a nice one, 32 seconds again. And continuing. Lovely. Okay, next up we've got Death on the Mississippi. Again, this is going to be fairly quick. So we're going to blast through. To Only thing we need is our pistol. And we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to grab our pistol. Jump on here and teleport up here into the main cabin. Him in the head. We're going to take out Muldoon in the head <laughs> and we're gonna go and grab the evidence from this safe just here before taking out another three members of the gang and then the rest of the members quite rapidly here's number two move your head if you could lovely and we've got this dude here love it and we've got one more just walking around on the left side of these stairs who we should be able to just take out with a little love tap to the head then we're going to teleport down here and guess who's to our side? This dude, but not for long. We're then going to jump back onto our cheats, go to beam here, get out of those and go on our free count. And we're going to zip just over here to where our final target is. You can go to the uh, teleport to the, um, the engine room, but it's a lot quicker just to snipe him in the back of the head. And now we're going to use free count once again. So if I don't get lost, I need to slow down. There we go. To the exit. Here it is. And we're going to teleport 47 right next to it. As so. There we go. And we're out of there. Nice and smooth. Again, about a minute. All of these you could probably shave off a couple of seconds just for improving it, just technically getting it perfect. There's perfect headshots, there's perfect teleports, perfect beam here's and the perfect escapes. But um, I'm pretty sure I've got them down as quickly as possible. So once again we're going to grab our pistol and we're going to move on to to death do us part. This one is an incredibly quick one so we're going to grab our pistol jump onto our teleports and we're going to teleport quite neatly into this dude then we're going to do the same into his father if he will sit still. There we go and then we're going to go down to beam here before exiting back the way we came So if we go up, we go here, lovely, and we're out of here. Another very quick mission. We even got Silent Assassin on that one. Okay, next comes up the slowest by far, a house of cards. Mostly because we've got to wait around for a number of people, which is rather annoying and has the potential to get messed up relatively quickly. So we're going to start off, but um, let's see how we do. I'll use some time multipliers on this just to make it a little more interesting. So let's grab our pistol. Let's take out our first dude. Who will happily teleport inside of before shooting in the head. Before jumping back on here, going down to beam here. And heading back up to the entrance. And waiting for our next target who won't be too long at all. So we're going to beam here and we're going to go up to a uh, time multiplier. And we're going to turn this up to about three, which I found was the easiest to use while still having control and everyone's going to start speeding about and our first target will appear any second now now the reason time multipliers don't like they increase obviously the time it takes in real world time but in game time it still registers so you have actually more likely to mess up than anything else but I found about three is the easiest to use in which you can turn the cheats off so we're going to wait for this dude Oh. And we're going to tap him there. I mean, seeing we've got time to kill, I'm going to allow myself. That was a little bit sloppy. I should have really double tapped him. But what you don't want to do is shoot him when he lands here. Because people will come and investigate and just get hit by the remaining cars. But um, we killed him. And we killed only him and we got the case. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the next two cars. So first up we've got Red Herring Car 1. We've got an old woman in here. <laughs> She's going to trip out. Freak out about the body and the blood there. <laughs> Hopefully she won't get hit by the next car. Well, we're here, we might as well appreciate some of the, you know, the geometric patterns, all of this kind of stuff. 
and while we wait for our next red herring too which will appear any second here which will be just a second guy who's going to come out with no real you know evidence no real importance I mean and here he comes now <laughs> and away he goes now we're waiting for our final uh, target and this will be the actual shake he's the one of importance so we'll take him on and we'll see how we can do and as soon as he arrives I'll turn off the speed multiplier one to make it you know more accurate once he's killed we want to be as close to real time as possible so he's coming he's coming and there I've managed to get it up relatively easily and we're back down to one lovely let's return to agent 47 everything is moving oh, it feels so slow now <laughs> and our targets gonna come out now it's important to remember that with these guys you can't actually kill him while he's doing his animation where he gets out of the car so first let him step out properly close the door the second he's done so we can shoot him just directly in the head at this point we're gonna jump back to cheats we're gonna go down to beam here go off them we're gonna go on to free cam and we're gonna head down controlled way to the exit point there we go and we're going to stick 47 right there and he's going to escape and this one takes about six this minutes yeah so other than that sloppy work at the beginning of the shooting we did that in a good amount of time okay moving on we're going to get to some of the better missions we're going to get on dance of the devil up next and this one is going to be a lot quicker trust me so as ever let's grab our trusty silver baller head straight into this mission and we really don't have too many left at this point so let's grab our pistol and we're gonna grab our cheats and go straight down to hell I'm gonna take out our first target right here shot in the head there followed by our next one who is just gonna be walking out here and there she is right on target we're gonna go back onto the teleports and now up to heaven I'm gonna do the same thing it's just easier to take out the two targets first so our first one is happily leading against the bar here and our second one is just in the toilet back here perfect timing my friend Ooh. and away he goes now we're going to jump on here we're going to go down to beam here and we're going to jump onto free cam just to speed up the time it takes us you can teleport to the entrance but I think it's quicker to uh, teleport into here or use free cam I mean into here just to put 47 right by the laptop just like so that way he can turn around and then after this we can teleport almost immediately out of here nice 47 okay we're gonna go into the car park there we go jumping back onto here turn it to beam here then we're gonna use free cam just to zip down once again to our car and we're out of here and that's another mission that bites, bites the dust. And that's about one minute, not too bad at all. And moving on to Amendment XXV, our last final mission, our last proper mission at least. So let's skip past all of this, I don't care. Give me the only weapon I ever need, my silver ballers. Let's take out these dudes. So immediately we're going to pop our gun out, jump here, and teleport right into the the over office area. We're gonna pop open these gates, or these doors I mean. And target one is down. Next is target two. I'm gonna move down to beam here before turning this off. And free coming into the room because we want to do this to avoid the cinematics. We're gonna go here, beam here, and jump out. Now he's just gonna ignore us and boom, he's back of the head. Go up to teleport. And luckily for us we're gonna go right out the door, kindly opened by these women here. And that's Amendment 25 done in about 25 seconds, I'd say. Yeah, 28 seconds, not too bad. Okay, guys, we're very near the end now. We are on to the final mission, requirement, or requiem. So we're going to skip this. Now, the only important thing is just to shoot the right two people, which are this guy, the reporter, and the, uh, what do you call it? faster freeze just because these guys won't run away then just enjoy your infinite ammo and then we're going to jump onto our free cam just to take out these last two dudes who are going to kindly run into our pathway just about here so we're going to beam here and that's it guys and that's my speed run for hitman blood money using cheats 
I'm sure a couple missions, like I said, time could be shaved off just for execution, just for those perfect headshots, perfect uh, free cam use, perfect escapes. But I think this is probably one of the quickest ways you can complete this game, you know, using cheats. So let me know if you have a go at it. Let me know your times. I'll post my time at the end of the video just here. And uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the cheats, enjoy the free cam. And I'll see you guys next time.